hi everyone you're watching oracle and this is dr shreya so we are here today to address the hot topic in every medical college all over india that is next i know many of you are confused about the next exam and you might be having many queries and doubts regarding the next pattern so in this video i am going to give you all the information you need regarding the next exam and hope this video clears all your confusions so the national exit test first of all no date or batch or year has been specified for the launch of next the next exam will comprise of two separate examinations called as steps next step 1 and next step 2 The next step one will be a licentiate exam that is uh, certifying the medical graduates to practice modern medicine, and it will also be a PG entrance exam to get admission into the PG courses. And next shall be applicable to all the Indian medical graduates and the foreign medical graduates approved by NMC. And NEET and next may run in parallel if the situation arises. If not, the NEET exam will be ceased and only next will be there. Now about the next step one, it will be a theoretical exam. It will be in online mode. and the questions shall be one or more than one type of the multiple choice type and it is a centralized common all india examination the examination consists of six papers with two sessions per day over three days so pre lunch you will have 120 questions to be answered in 3 hours and day 1 you will have medicine and elite subjects day 2 surgery and elite subjects and on day 3 obs and gynae and post lunch you will have 60 questions to be answered in 1 and 1/2 hour and the subjects are ent pediatrics and ophthalmology plus the applied aspects of all the subjects covered in first second and third year mbbs now who are eligible for the next exam all the medical students who have completed their third mbbs and final mbbs course from a medical college recognized by the commission can appear for the exam now there will be a next one regular examination once a year that is before the university practicals of the final year preceding the internship and there will be a next one supplementary exam once a year for those candidates who have failed in one of those six papers and they will be required to repeat those particular subjects if you do not pass both regular examination and a supplementary examination you will have to appear for the next one regular examination in the following year there is no restriction to the number of attempts if a student has passed both step 1 and step 2 within 10 years of joining the mbbs course and also there is no restriction to the number of attempts to appear for the next step 1 regular examination for uh, improvement of scores provided that these regular examinations to improve scores are taken after one year of completion of next step 2 next step 1 shall replace the university pro uh, final professional examination that is the theoretical exams but the university practical exams for third and final year mbbs shall continue to take place and next step 2 will be a clinical practical or viva voce examination covering seven clinical subjects that is medicine and elite subjects surgery and elite subjects obs and gynae pediatrics ent ophthalmology orthopedics and pmr and uh, this exam will be an objective structured a uh, clinical case based and uh, simulating case cases or patients uh, mainly aimed at evaluating the practical or clinical skills and the clinical decision making and uh, the communication skills of an indian medical graduate the next step 2 will be held in person that is live uh, and is connected by the respective state universities or the institutions and uh, there will be a regular uh, next step 2 exam and the supplementary next step 2 exam for those candidates who have failed in one or more subjects in the regular next step 2 exam and if you fail in more than 3 subjects of the 7 subjects in the next step 2 then you will not be eligible for the supplementary examination you have to again appear for the next year uh, regular step 2 exam now coming to the scoring uh, in next step 1 uh, the marks are counted as a whole number which will serve as the raw scores and the minimum score of passing is uh, 50% in each of the six subjects you have to pass each subject individually by acquiring 50% of the marks and coming to next step 2 here there are no marks or percentage the result will be declared as pass or fail uh, depending upon the satisfactory demonstration of the skills and competencies you have acquired and for the pg entrance exams uh, the total raw score of all the past subjects shall be counted as the final score and in case of a failed subject the score obtained in the supplementary exam shall be counted if a candidate gives multiple attempts then the average uh, score of the uh, last three consecutive attempts will be counted and the next score shall be valid for 3 years and for indian medical graduates to get provisional registration you have to clear next one and uh, the university practical examinations for foreign medical graduates to get the provisional registration you have to clear next one and compulsory in, uh, rotatory internship for fmg in india and you have if you want to go to overseas and practice medicine but still want to be in the indian medical register you have to clear next one internship and next two 
only raw marks obtained in the next one are required for the PG counselling. The raw score shall also be utilised in employment, scholarships, fellowships, etc. The next one question pattern is as follows. Clinical vignetted will dominate. Problem solving will be 65%, comprehensive 25% and recall will be 10%. Level of knowledge, must know 60%, nice to know 30%, may know 10%. Now the papers and distribution, 10% basic sciences, 10% PSM and FM and PSM shall come as integrated. A break of 2 hours shall be given between 2 sessions. Coming to next two, the evaluation method is as follows. Actual cases will be there, OSCE and simulation. The schedule is not still clear. The proposed schedule is as follows. The next one regular may be in the second week of December. Uh, fourth professional practical may be in the first week of January and the internship may begin from 1st of February. The next step to regular will be in second week of March. The PG admissions may begin from May and continue till June and the commencement of PG course may be from 1st of July. So these are all the important points mentioned in the NMC draft on how the next exam pattern is going to be. Hope this video is helpful. Stay tuned to Oracle and don't forget to share this video with your friends. Bye bye.